4 and verse 3. It's a good uh, scripture reading there. And I got some uh, children needs prayer and grand young ones needs prayer. I need prayer. Bless me. We all need prayer. Amen. But you know God's been good to me. My <coughs> Somebody asked me today about my back now, but I don't worry about that. I've got to pray too much for other folks to worry about my hurt. If we let it get on our mind, we'll really let it run us away. Matthew 24 and verse 3. <clears throat> All right. Let's listen to what Jesus has to say. And as he said upon the Mount of Olives, <clears throat> the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the signs of thy coming, and of the end of the world. Now I want to tell you right now that I believe everybody in this church besides the kids is old enough to know that you can look around and tell pretty well when it's coming. Have you ever seen a time as it is? Have you ever seen a things that happen like they do? All of my days, I, I'm telling you the truth, all of my days, I, when I was back able to work back under in my teenage days and in my 20s, why well, you could quit work this morning and go to work before dark in another place. Now if you get out of a job, you're just out of a job. And then some people that jump up things with the world before God, and they ain't going to take no job. But I'm glad that the Lord has laid it on my heart to get closer. <laughs> Amen. Amen. When's these signs going to be, they said. Jesus said here in the verse 4, and he said, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Amen. I'm going to say something right there. I ain't called his name. You wouldn't know him if I did. But he passed away here a while back, and he sent two weeks before he passed away, and he'd like to talk to me, and I never got up there. Yeah. Toward Mary. And he was in this church one night, a, a preacher, and he lost a lot of weight. He looked good to me, as far as I'm concerned. But I didn't agree with what he was talking about. He said, I'm going to stand up here in the front of this church tonight, and if you're here and you need a healing, I can do it. Hmm? Just come on around and let me lay your hands on you and you'll be healed. I can heal you. Well, if you're in here tonight and you think you're so close to God that you're better than God is and you can lay your hands on somebody and do it yourself, let's see your hand. Amen. Ain't nobody, unless it's done through and by the authority yes. of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen, brother. I lay hands on people, I pray for people, but I say, Lord, not my will, but thy will be done. Because Hart Michaels can't heal you. I've been accused of not saving nobody, and that's a good saying. I ain't never saved nobody. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You ain't never saved nobody. But I know a man who can. Amen. Praise God. You ever heard that old song? Put your hand in the hand of a man who steals the water. Amen. Put your hand in his hand. Trust him and he'll do it. And the Bible said in verse 6, And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye not be troubled, for all these things shall come to pass. But the end is not yet. Where are we at today? Come on, folks. Come on. Wars and rumors of wars. And we're not quite there yet. Amen. Amen. People say, oh, look what's happening over in 
uh, yonder, no, what's over yonder, and happening over here. You know, I, I, everybody may uh, criticize, don't get too critical tonight. They, they criticize and all upon poor old Judge Judy, but bless the big God, she got guts enough to look you in the face to tell you thank you. This old boy is on there yesterday from, what is that, in Algeva, in the Geneva country? Algeria. Yeah. And his wife had left over there, and he come over here, and he had three babies by one woman and two by another. And Judge Judy looked at him and said, well, what do you think? The America don't need you to come over here to populate. We've got enough of you people now. <laughs> Yeah, I told Louise I like that. <laughs> Amen. She told him. And he said, Well, I'm going to have somebody she gets over here. He said, She said, Well, I'll tell you, I wouldn't have you if I could over here invite you wife. <laughs> you know, brother, I'll tell you what's true. People today, they don't got no remorse or morals about them no more. Amen. 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 And that's say, I'm saying, mm -hmm. a saved person don't live like the devil. Amen. Uh, Amen. Just preach it like it is. All right, that'll be fine. Amen. Now listen to what he said. He said, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes and divers places. Where are we at? Over oh, yonder, sin city and all, all them earthquakes and everything, and all them floods and everything, and wash them out. And, and people said, my son-in-law went down there to work, and uh, what was the name of that place? <coughs> New Orleans, and Tim went down there, and he went across the bridge to go on in. New Orleans, he said, you ain't going to believe it. Women staying on the sidewalk with no clothes on, and men no clothes, and saying it cost $50 to have sex to leave. Boy, if that ain't sin, Cindy, you tell me what it is. Amen. Amen. I'll tell you right now, if you'll read this Bible, ain't nobody supposed to even see their mama, daddy, sister, brother, none of their nakedness. Is that not in the Bible? Amen. And, brother, I'll tell you right now, uh, uh, Shirley said it one day, and I'm going to say it again. Shirley, you're not going to hear if I ain't telling the truth. Shirley says, let's go, uh, 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 sex and money. Wasn't that way it was? Sex and money took over the world. Well, sex is fine if it's just between a man and a woman. They're going out and bragging about it being human beings. Oh, Lord. Preacher, how did you get into that? <laughs> Amen. And all these are the beginning of sorrows. Now, you know what? That's exactly the reason we're in sorrow and having trouble. Everything has gone to suit man instead of God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They're, uh, they're burning churches. They uh, break into churches. They steal everything they can get their hands on. Amen. But I'll tell you right now, when Jesus comes, I'm leaving. I want you to know tonight, if you don't see me anymore after tonight, and then around the world, or, and Jesus comes to clip the old heart string, and, and I'm gone, don't come in here and say, oh, our pastor, no blessed be God, run the house, shout. He's gone home, amen. 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 Woo! That's amen. enough to make anybody want to shout. Amen. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Helen, we are hated because of the nation and the people that don't like us. Amen. Amen. Oh, you claim to be, I've had those in my face, and you claim to be a preacher. No, I don't claim, I am. Amen. Amen. I don't claim to be nothing, but God chose me, God called me. Amen. And they're mad because I won't back down from them, so they'll just have to get glad in the same shoes they got from Amen. Come on. Brother, I'll tell you right now, I said the other day to a guy, and I don't know if you're going to like it or not, but I said, I believe I'm the one of uh -huh. the old time preachers left. Amen. 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 People pray that you're going to hurt somebody's feelings. They pray that somebody's going to talk about it. Talk about it. Climb on my back, back but you got room to get on. There's plenty back there now. Just climb on, because I don't care what you talk or what you say. It's what God knows about. Amen. 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 Why, it just blessed me the other day. I don't know no churches around that uh, does what this church does. Well, preacher, what they do? These fellows found out a lady in our church had trouble at home, and they went up there and fixed it. 
Amen. I appreciate you, gentlemen. Amen. Amen. Anybody, ladies, who ever help do it, I appreciate you. Praise God. If somebody, like I said, we need to show a lot more love. Amen. Amen. God will bless us, Tim, if we'll do it. Let's Amen. Let's Huh? Let's get back to get boss. <laughs> she told me I'd do it. <laughs> I'll leave it there. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I appreciate Brother Ben and Doug and them come over to the house and help me with the little project I had. Amen. Amen. I appreciate you. Thank God for you. Ben's not able to be here on account of it, but... <laughs> I don't know where Bill's at. But let's pray for him. Amen. Brother Arnold's been over and helped me. Brother Tim's been over and helped me. A lot of people's helped me. Amen. Amen. And that's what it's all about. Amen. Helping one another. Amen. Love one another as I've loved you, said Jesus. And then shall the many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. You know we're living in that day. Yeah. Amen. People hate one another. I've seen some things some of you may have never seen. But I, when I drove a truck and I was down in the country, and uh, this little old boy, he wasn't about four year old, the store man's boy, and he come in there, and I mean cussing. And I was carrying two boxes of bananas and two boxes of tomatoes on top of that, and I was carrying them in the store. And uh, the milkman come in, and he just all about kicked the milkman on the machine. And that milkman picked him up and set his rear end on the fire. Amen. And the store man said, boy, you'll pay for that. Well, what are you going to do about it, he said. He said, I ain't, but you'll pay for it. In less than 15 minutes, and I looked around and went back out to the truck, here comes the little boy across the store yard with a double barrel shotgun loaded. Four-year-old. Amen. Bible said if you spare the rod, you'll spoil the child. But if you spare not the rod, you'll save the soul of the child from hell. Amen. 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 So that young man hadn't had no training, but they got the gun before he pulled the trigger. But we're living in a day, and that's just, that's been several years ago, and Arnold is worse than that now. They're killing their own mom and dad. Yep. Amen. Their own brothers and sisters. What was that woman on television the other day? She killed, uh, the three kids? She killed five all together. I'm telling you what's true. It scares you when you go to turn the news on. I don't, when I turn the news, I flip it on. I'd rather watch Stanford and Son. As many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many, and because the iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That's why you don't holler amen too much, ain't you? You got cold. <laughs> Woo! Bless him, Lord. Come on now, amen. I believe everybody ought to holler amen once in a while. Amen. Amen. I, how's the baby we prayed for something down the start? You heard? The little and lamp that you brought the oil down, we prayed. Melissa's baby. Yeah, Melissa's baby. But it had that breaking out all the way down its arm. And I lie you not. Lance brought the oil down there to me, and me and him, and I, two or three more staying there, prayed for that baby. And when we got done praying, it had done move from its wrist here up to here. It was a whole lot better yesterday. Thank you. Amen. God's still on the front. Boy, that would make color, amen. amen. Ain't he wonderful, God? Amen. amen. You better depend on God because doctors don't know nothing. Amen. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I know what it is. Just need to show the Lord His power. But He that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Amen. He that endure. You know what endurance means? Tomorrow work harder than you did today. Amen. Work harder the next day than you did that day. Pray harder than you ever prayed before. Amen. 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 I go to bed and I say, Lord, somebody asked me the other day how Louise's food was, and I said, well, she ain't really had uh, that much trouble of it. We had a lot of people praying for her, and I said, she's diabetic, bad diabetic. And I said, she ain't had to have no surgery, no screws put in her ankle or nothing. I said, that's a miracle. Amen. Amen. It's a miracle. And 
Now I should get her where she can walk too fast because she out walking me. But I'm proud of it. Amen. When I get my new body, she won't be able to keep up. Amen. Hey little boy down the road, Lance down the cage. Uh, Shelby North Carolina said one time, said, Boy, I'll tell you right now, Preacher Michael gets his new legs. Says, We're going to have time keeping up with him. Ain't it wonderful how people look at you and turn something into a blessing? Amen. He that endures to the end. He that endures to the end. He that overcomes. He that overcomes the world. Uh, you've got to love God to overcome the world because the world is getting wickeder and wickeder and worse and worse. Amen. But Jesus gets sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. Amen. I never will forget over here next while the Sanders in that church. What's the name of it over there? Uh, I think uh, Clark or somebody over now. Anyhow, Andy Major's there back in. And this old man had jumped up and is, they called him Moses. And he'd run the benches and walk around or go around the, just to hip and scuff and around the seat and holler and he gets gooder and gooder and gooder and better and better and better all the time. Mm-hmm. And then we'll forgive you. Amen. And Andy Mead jumped about that high all the time. He's preaching. And he's not far out of it if you're sitting close around. <laughs> this one old deacon in the church he used to pastor, he'd beat his face with the same princess. And he, and he said, I said, did you ever get mad? Why no? He loves me. Somebody told us that he hit me like that. He'll find himself getting up out the floor. But I never did see nobody putting him down. I don't know why he done it. But that would hurt somebody's like it through the face. I'm going to ask God to slap you through the heart tonight and tenderize it. Amen. So let's come and pray and have a good evening. Amen. Amen. Let's come and pray.